Got him. I'm here to demonstrate to you how to put the freeze miser onto a float valve. That way it keeps your float, the hose, and all the way to your faucet from freezing. Uh, simply, uh, your current set up with this type of float valve. Just take your uh, current water supply, make sure your water's off. Unscrew your water from the, the float valve. Then get you a Y valve. We use a Y valve like this with no shutoffs on it. That way your horses or cows cannot lick it and, sh and shut it off. Uh, but simply take this Y valve and screw it into the top of the float valve. Snug like this. And then take your freeze miser and attach it on the end of this Y. Then simply take your water supply line and screw this into the top of the Y on your float. Make sure it's snug and then reattach it to your float. Then go turn your water on. Make sure your water is in a full open position. Now after your application, now the freeze miters is going to protect your float valve, your hose, and your faucet from freezing. Whether the hose is 10 feet long or 50 feet long or 150 feet long, the freeze miter is going to protect your hose, float, and your faucet from freezing. No more taking the hose off and draining the hose and turning your, your hydrant off every time it's going to freeze. Uh, so it's going to save you a ton of drive time and labor uh, over the course of the winter and not having to worry about your troughs anymore. Um, when it does drip, it'll drip right into your tank. Um, and that's the application for this type of float valve. Now, there's a couple other types of float valves as well, which I'm about to show you in just a second. If you should happen to have this type of float valve in your operation, basically you get you a PVC T and splice it in with uh, your incoming water here with the threaded end on this end and screw your freeze miser onto this end. When the temperature of that water falls below 37 degrees, this is going to drip and it's going to keep your pipe and your float from freezing up as well as your faucet up to 150 feet. Um, you can use this application this way as well. So if you should happen to have a ball float, um, it's what you use for all your, your water troughs. Simply get you a T um, with a three quarter inch pipe here, about three or four inches long, uh, with a couple of elbows and a threaded end. Uh, take your freeze miser and screw it in here. And basically, your incoming water here, turn your water on and you're good to go. This will protect your float and your hose and your faucet from freezing, the same as this type of float valve as well. Um, guaranteed to save you a lot of time and labor over the course of the wintertime. Thanks.